I'm Scott L. Miller. It's the 22nd of April, 2022. This is my daily vlog of life in Nicaragua, and today is Friday. Today is Martina and my day to go out and do apartment hunting all around Leon. This is actually a lot of fun. We're not looking for ourselves, obviously, maybe not obviously. Uh, we are looking for uh, Alan and Anna, who are looking for a new place, probably in the city. And they have very specific requirements and they don't know the areas and stuff. So Martina, who is a local Leonesa, and myself are doing the rounds with some real estate agents, uh, some with them, some on our own, and looking at what is available in the market and getting an idea of how much it costs and what's available and what the neighborhoods are like and so forth so that we can relay that information on before we bring Alan and Anna out uh, to get involved because we may rule a bunch of things out or find some things that are really good for them uh, without them needing to, to come along as well. So I really wanted to film today. I thought it'd be a lot of fun and I took the GoPro with me and we went out and it turned out to be just, there's so much logistics of, of looking at the houses and several of the places we looked at are in a no filming zone. So it ended up that I was unable uh, to really film very much. I ended up just getting nothing for the day. So unfortunately, this is not one of those cool days where I have all this like neat footage of places that we went. I'm just gonna tell you about it, but I don't know why someone is, it's just someone throwing, if you can hear it, they're just playing with the swing, just throwing the swing to make noise. They're not actually swinging or doing anything and it's not a kid, like, <laughs> so we went out, um, and I think we've got some really good information. And we have a lot of people here on the channel who are really interested in rentals, uh, just in general, and wanna know kind of what the market's like, what the prices are gonna be like, what the options are gonna be like. And we got some really cool information today, and I'm gonna try to get Martina on the show. We'll sit down and talk about some real estate, because I think that'll be really interesting, get her feedback, and we'll do a back and forth and stuff. But from from just, um, I almost need to, to film this. It's so ridiculous. He's just over there, like, having a temper tantrum with the swing in the middle of the park. Anyway, uh, I think, I think Martina was really blown away by the incredible value that was available on the market. I don't think even she knew what you would be able to get as someone looking in this price range in Leon. A lot of more traditional houses, the ones that, that locals are getting most of the time, are probably in the one to two hundred dollar range. We're looking above that, and so we really open up the market quite a bit. Now we're looking at very specific houses. I don't want to make any comments about broader houses that are available. We're looking at very specific things, just what Alan and Anna would would be able to use in the short term what they're looking for so this is very very specific We're, we, we could have gotten much better deals i'm sure had we been able to look at 10 times as many houses but so that being said, we're specifically looking mostly at residencias, that is gated communities where there's some amount of planning. In the United States, we would think of them as planned communities, um, kind of like HOAs, but you know, with gates and guards mostly, and uh, very cookie cutter houses most of the time. Here in Nicaragua, you can get those, but you can also get them where they're incredibly varied inside the complex. Uh, whereas in the US, of course that does exist. It's much more rare. Here I would say it's about half and half. In the US, it's probably more like 90 10, something like that. Anyway, so we looked at about five houses today and we were just blown away by the quality of what we found. Uh, we started in uh, Veracruz and while we were there, um, the house that we looked at a few houses, the whole neighborhood I thought was fantastic. Now I should mention Los Altos de Veracruz is a sub neighborhood inside Sutiava. Uh, so we're out to the west of the city quite a ways. Now there's multiple people throwing swings around. Uh, the um, so that area is really cool because it's like on the way to the beach. It's very accessible, uh, and and the houses out there were really interesting. They were not cookie cutter. It was a neat neighborhood where you were able to go and find like really unique houses of all different sizes and styles. Um, and I'm gonna have to pause because there is a parade coming through. It's the most ridiculous thing. I'm just gonna film this and then come back to talking. Like seriously, I, I swear it's an experiment in how much noise can be made at any one time between people screaming behind me, people throwing swings for no reason, and someone coming through with a bicycle and a stereo turned up as high as they could with a gang of school children following them like the Pied Piper. It's insane. Okay. So uh, we found this first house. It was big, three bedroom, two bath, lots of space, giant yard, enough room for dogs to run around. You could put in a pool, had an outbuilding to put in a generator, um, a driveway, not a garage, but a covered area for a car. That's pretty common outside of the city center. And all of that I think was $350 a month. So 
we're talking pretty affordable and this was american style construction sealed windows screens on the windows easily to put in air conditioning whole thing was fantastic we, we could not believe how beautiful this place was really really nice we also went to the uh residencia of san andreas on the southeast side of the city and looked at multiple homes there there they're smaller but this is a gated community with a full-time guard you're not allowed to take any pictures and they walk you to the buildings and all that kind of stuff very impressive the neighborhood was gorgeous it was full there's like all the different places all the lots were filled in you don't have a bunch of empty ones out in Sutiava, you could still go build i wouldn't recommend it right now but you could go build new um there's lots of lots available so empty space which doesn't give the best feeling because there's like oh there's a bunch of weeds over there here everything was mature all the driveways are up against other driveways it gave you a feeling very much of being in a very exclusive u.s neighborhood but the houses again were about three, 300 I believe for those, multiple ones. Smaller, no yards, but they did have a patio, very nice houses, some of them with three air conditioners in them for that price. So very, very affordable, um, very realistic. Now all of these are outside the city center, residencias tend to be. Uh, so you're not gonna get the, oh, I'm walking to restaurants kind of thing, but it's easy to use Ugo, which is our equivalent of Uber Eats, and just have food delivered and it's super cheap. So a lot of people would do that. And this is important to note, uh, Martina was explaining to me that utilities like water, sewer, and electric are actually cheaper outside the city center. So people living in these residencias, even though their houses may be a bit more fancy, they can put in air conditioning and afford to run it because their cost of electric is so much lower. That's really interesting and good to note that if you're looking for a cost-effective living in the United States, we may think, well, being in the city center is just gonna make things cheaper because that's how it, we're used to it working. But here, the opposite may be true. So one of these further afield locations might work out really well. We we went to Fatima, but we weren't able to go into any houses up there, uh, and we drove around and looked at a few others. So throughout the day, we looked at several houses. The bottom line was every house we looked at, we were really impressed uh, with how cool the house was um, and at the price, the amount you were able to get. We didn't see anything that I've described yet above $350 a month. Uh, and these are, you know, you would easily be able to live with uh, two or three people. If you had kids, you could easily have a family of four, no problem, because these are three bedrooms. Um, if you are just a couple uh, and you're, maybe you're retired or you're working remotely, this gives you enough space to have a master bedroom, an office, and then another, either a second office or a work room or a storage room or whatever, guest room, a popular thing when you live in a place like Nicaragua, because obviously all your friends want to come visit you. Uh, all that, for three, three fifty. Now it's not utilities included, but still, that's a very reasonable price for a lot of space. Uh, we're probably talking between twelve and fifteen hundred square feet for those in the United States. Uh, so, very comfortable living for sure. Not giant houses, but very reasonable. But the last house that we looked at was actually nearly a mirror of my own house. Not a mirror, a copy. A mirror would be flipped. This was the same layout. Um, a slightly larger four bedroom, three bath, colonial style. We didn't know it was colonial. That's not what they're looking for, so it didn't work out for them. And it's basically the same layout as my colonial house with the double living rooms in front. Uh, but this one's on the road to Sutiava on a raised uh, hillside. So beautiful views out the front overlooking the highway. But it's it's pretty nice because the highway's against forest. And it's in a great part of town, easily accessible to the things. Still too far to walk, but you can easily get delivery and your costs are lower. Um, but it had a pool in the middle instead of where we have a laundry area a swimming pool right in the middle, which is great. We had that when we used to live in Granada and we did really like that feature. And then this one's slightly larger than mine with a laundry area past that. So we liked that a lot. That one was 400 and that was quite pricey for what we were looking at. Is the only one that was not in a gated community and it was the only one that hit $400. It was also the only one that was four bedroom and the only one with a swimming pool and the only one sitting on the main road. So it has its own advantages, um, but I think it gives a nice feel of what rentals cost in the city of Leon for those kinds of things. If you're not looking for like where I live here, I live right in the center. I'm in an old colonial. I'm right in the barrio. I'm connected to downtown. I can walk to absolutely everything. I'm in the midst of all this, right? Like it's a very different experience where I live. That's going to cost you a little bit more. Not a ton but a little bit more looking out a little bit so you're still within the city but you're in the outskirts past the barrios and you're looking at these residencias or nearly residencias like that last colonial 
your money's gonna go really far and you're gonna have options like fully manned gated communities. Uh, Veracruz is not guarded. It is gated, but it does not have a security guard at this time. All the others did, and that's a really nice feature. A lot of people love that because suddenly you can leave your stuff outside and, and you're really well protected. Like the amount of safety you get with that. This is a country where crimes tend to be crimes of opportunity. And so all it takes is the littlest bit, a little bit of barbed wire, a, a live security guard at the gate, some extra lights on, you're very, very safe. You leave everything dark, you leave your tools sitting out on a, on a bench out front overnight, and there's absolutely no security whatsoever. People are gonna walk by and put them in their pockets. It's It's, natural right a little bit of security goes a really long way here people are not hopping the fence with machetes they're not carrying guns or anything like that they're not coming after you in some threatening way it's simply if they see something lying around they're very likely to put it in their pocket and even then when i say they are very likely to put i mean on a national scale there's somebody willing to put it in their pocket that will come by the average person still would not um so safe but you know be smart about it as well. Uh, but so these kinds of communities can be absolutely perfect for that. Just that little bit of extra security uh, can make all the difference to feeling incredibly comfortable. And uh, you know, these are quiet, uh, relaxed. For a lot of my audience on here, I think they would make some really cool choices. And this is leading Martina and I to some ideas that we're gonna be sharing with you over the next probably week or so. That I'm, I'm pretty excited about where we're just starting to formulate those ideas today. So I don't wanna get ahead of myself, but we're definitely having a lot of fun with this. Now, real quick, tomorrow, before I tell you what we're doing tomorrow, like, subscribe, ask your questions about these rentals, other rentals, places you wanna know about rentals, all, all that stuff. Real estate's very popular on here. I don't mean to make this like a real estate channel, but it's a topic that is coming up in my life right now, so, and a lot of you are interested in it, so I'm happy to, you know, do what I can. It is incredibly fun and interesting. Martina and I are having a lot of fun exploring the barrios and looking at houses and stuff. I mean, seriously, you guys are giving us excuses to go look at houses and it's things we both enjoy, so we're having fun just checking out what's out there. And let me tell you, Martina is seriously like, why, why am I living on the beach? My money would go twice as far out here. This is fantastic. So for those of us who are living on the beach and, and like I own beach places, she rents a beach place, Seriously, I've already moved into Leon and she's now really seriously considering moving into Leon just from looking at how good these rentals are today. So something to think about. Those of us who've put in time on the beach, we're thinking this city might be the place to be. And a lot of people obviously make the same choice. That's what makes it a city. All the people that are here had the choice of going out to the beach and said, no, we want to be closer to each other where there's stuff. Let's be in the city. Uh, so that's something um, that does make sense. Consider that when looking at rentals, you're gonna get way more. It's easy to take a trip out to the beach. Actually living on the beach does come with a lot of negatives, costs, and, and accessibility being the biggest ones. All right, that said, tomorrow, we are doing the same thing again. Martina and I are heading out uh, in the early afternoon, not first thing in the morning, just because the, the agents that we're working with who have the keys to everything, they are not, um, and I just to mention this, they are seller's agents, not buyer's agents. That means we are not contracting them as real estate agents. We are contracting the houses, contacting the houses, and um, this is the person who lets us in to see them. We are not working with a real estate agent, but it's a lot of houses and the same people um, have access to them, so they're taking us around for the later part of the day. Today, we did a mix. We, we only saw them for one house uh, that we actually weren't able to get into, but they have a number that they wanna show us tomorrow, so we're gonna go look at those with them. Um, so it's a bit different, right? We're, you, we're looking at houses and there are agents involved. They are not our agents in any way uh, for those who watch my stuff on agents. So tomorrow we're doing that. Um, Alan and Anna are coming with us. Today is their last day in the country. So uh, not forever, just for a little while, but they, uh, they're heading out on vacation. They're actually heading to London. By the time you see this, they will be watching this episode in London. And of course they'll be watching it because just because you're in London does not give you an excuse not to watch my show every day. Uh, so they're heading out there. They leave tomorrow. So they're looking at houses on their very last day. And we've found some today that we think are so good. They've got to see them tomorrow. And then we've got a few more tomorrow that we're going to go see with them that we've not seen yet um, in the hopes that we find something uh, perfect for them. So we're going to do that. I'm going to try really hard to get a little bit of filming in tomorrow. I do want to show you guys a few of these houses because I think they're kind of fantastic. Um, and I just think it's, it's going to be a lot of fun. Um, and then I want to do a wrap up with Martina probably next week and sit down and talk about uh, our discoveries of the market uh, this week and all the fun we had um, and then talk about our plans and projects that we've kind of 
managed to formulate by then. All right, I know you've liked and subscribed already, so I will see all of you tomorrow.